everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another home bargains haul. I just love shopping and home bargains, all of the bargain shops are just my thing. I love going. So I went to home bargains on the weekend and picked up a few bits. So I thought I would show you what I got. This is also a collaboration with my friend Brogan here on YouTube. If you haven't checked out Brogan's channel yet, then make sure you check it out after this video. You will love her. She does weekly vlogs. She also does hauls and she's also recently moved home. So I imagine there are gonna be lots of interior posts on there as well. I know she's just uploaded her home office tour. So if you're interested in that, then make sure you check it out. She's also a fellow Disney fan. So Disney fans out there, make sure you check out Brogan's channel after this. But yeah, if you wanna see what I bought, just keep watching. Okay, so first of all, I've got the receipt, guys, because I remember last time I forgot to mention the prices. I was used to doing Poundland videos, so everything was obviously a pound, but not in home bargains. So I've got my receipt, I'm ready to tell you how much everything was. And I'm just gonna start off with these, so you're gonna see them anyway. I bought these kind of storage baskets, which I thought would be really good for Renzo's room to put some toys in, and it was a pack of two. And they're gray and white, um, and I've got two sizes. So this is the smaller one, and then there's also a bigger one, which I'll show you right here. And what I loved was, I think these were only, let me just see, yeah, so two white and great baskets. They were 5 99 for the pair, which I thought was really good. They're pretty sturdy and I just thought they would be good to put soft toys and things like that in in Renzo's room and I liked the neutral colours because I'm quite a neutral kind of gal so I picked those up first of all I then picked up some Tupperware or containers and um, this is a small clip lid lunch box with three compartments and a removable shelf so I went for the blue one which I really love and I thought I could use this for the boys as well and what I love is that inside it has the compartments and I don't have anything like that so you know if I've got snacks and things and I want to separate them or if I've got like a chicken salad or I want to put some sauce in here I just thought that would be a really good idea uh, or you can just keep it separate like that and put everything in one pot but I thought that was cool it also had this in like a yellow colour and oh I'm not sure of the other colour but I really liked it and I just thought it was really cute. This one was £1.29. I grabbed some more baby wipes. These are just pampers and I got the pack of, how many's in here? Five. These were £3.99 for five packs and we always kind of go for multi-packs just because we get through them so quickly. So we got some of those. Next, I picked up some more Imperial Leather Foam Burst. This is the Restoring Jasmine and Lotus Flower Scent. I really love this. I like to use it as my shower gel and also as a shaving foam because it's like a foam. Um, they smell amazing. I don't really find that they last that well, but I probably use a little bit too much, hence why I'm always buying them. But yeah, I always buy these from like the bargain shops because it's much cheaper. I think this is $1.99. Yeah, $1.99, so not too bad. It is a bit more expensive, but not as expensive as if you were to buy it in boots. I don't know. They do do offers everywhere every so often, but I just needed some more, so I got some. I picked up some more containers just because at the moment when I'm cooking, I've always got like food left over and stuff and then I haven't got any containers to put them in when I put them in my fridge. So I picked five of these up. They're just like purple lids, clear little containers. I thought it would be good. And they were only £1.59 for five of them. So that's really good, I think. I picked this little gadget up. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, might not work, but it's a lint remover. You know when you get like bobbles on your clothes and stuff or on scarves and you know, you don't wanna like rip them off. This is a lint remover, so it removes the bobbles. Never tried it before, don't know if it works, but it's battery operated. And I guess you just like run it over your clothes to get rid of the bobbles. So we'll see how that goes. Not really sure. They had it in pink and blue. I went for the pink one. And that one was $1.99. So not too bad. Hopefully it works. I've got like a top that I really love wearing from Topshop. I got it last year or maybe the year before. It's just a knitted grey top. I wear it all the time. But it has got a few like bobbles on it. So hopefully this will work and get rid of the bobbles and make it look a bit better and newer. I grabbed some dry shampoo because I'm always running out of dry shampoo. I, they did have the Batiste one in there, but I don't really like that one. I find that it goes really white on my scalp and it just builds up very quickly. So I didn't go for that. And then I spotted this one, which is I guess their one that they've got in there. And it just says dry shampoo original. Um, and there's no scent or anything to it. I don't know what it smells like. Let me smell it. It hasn't really, doesn't really smell or anything doesn't really smell of anything. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't really like the packaging of it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not very like cute. They did have a pink one, but I wasn't sure I'd like the scent. So I went for the original, 
which has no scent anyway. So <laughs> don't know how that's gonna be. It was only 79p, so I thought I would grab it anyway. I then picked up a Airwick um, reed diffuser. And um, I've not tried one of these before. They've got like little um, gel balls inside. It lasts up to 20 days. And I went for the vanilla scent. I thought I can really smell it and it smells really nice. So I thought I'd pick that one up and that was only, let me see how much that was. That was 2 dollars So probably a bit more expensive than I would usually pay for a reed diffuser. Actually, no, reed diffusers are quite expensive, aren't they sometimes? But this one, because I could really smell it, I thought it would be nice in the house. And I thought I'd just put this in the hallway in the house or even in the kitchen somewhere. I just like the smell of it. So hopefully it'll be a good one. I did also grab these for um, the downstairs toilet and it's just little gel air fresheners in lavender scent. I really love lavender scent. I just find it really calming. And yeah, I just thought I'd pick these up. They kind of run out very quickly, but I just thought I'd grab them for the downstairs toilet because it's only a small room. This is actually quite powerful for the small room. So they were only cheap. I think they were like, uh, what was this? Let me see. Oh yeah, those are only 99p for all three. So I thought that was really good. Um, they did have lots of other ones there, but I just thought I'd pick those up because I liked the lavender scent. I also grabbed some more um, bedtime baby bath for the boys because they'd run out of this. It's like bubble bath for the boys and I love the smell of this. They always sleep really well when I use this and I just love the smell of it. So the baby bath was £1.49. I grabbed a couple of bathroom cleaning wipes as well. Um, I think these were like two for one pound. Um, yeah, it was two for a pound. I don't think these have got any scent. Let me see. It just says hygienic bathroom cleaning wipes. If you've watched my cleaning videos and you know that I like to keep these in my bathroom. So downstairs, upstairs or in the ensuite, suite. Um, just because I find it keeps it it's easier for everyone to use, to clean the toilet quickly and you can do it daily. So I love to have these in the bathrooms to keep the bathroom clean and it's just a quick and easy thing to use. So love those. I picked up a notebook. They've got loads of lovely notebooks in there. I don't need another notebook, guys. I don't need another notebook. I've got so many notebooks, but I love the color of this. Look at this gorgeous, like, it's like a mint green, kind of Tiffany blue kind of color. I don't know, are we calling this green or blue? I think it's green. It's green with a hint of blue, like a turquoisey green. I don't know. I really liked it. It's got gold writing on it. It says notes. And yeah, it's just an A5 notebook. I don't know what it's like inside. Let me see if it's lined or not. Yeah, so it's a lined book, which is lovely. Um, and yeah, that was cheap again. I think that was only, let me see. That notebook was only 99p. So it's quite cheap really in here. It's not that expensive. Nothing really was over. Obviously the baskets were 5 99 but there's nothing over that price. So I think that's good. I picked up these glow sticks for the boys, which I thought this would be quite a nice sensory thing for in the bath. Um, so we can have like a glow stick evening in the bath, turn the lights off and they can play with these. I thought it'd be quite fun. So you get 15 glow sticks in here and that was 59p. So literally all you do is you snap them and then they'll glow. And you can pop them in the freezer, I think, to make them last longer. So um, you can kind of like reseal them. And then when you snap it again, they should glow again. I'm sure that's what I used to do when I was younger. I'm not sure if it works with these, but that's what I used to do. Um, and yeah, I thought these would be good. But it does sound here that you shouldn't give them to naught to three year olds. Um, but I will always be with Renzo when he's playing with this. So yeah, so it would be like a fun sensory bath toy. So I went for that. And then a couple of final food items I picked up. I got some coconut and I also picked up some chia seeds. I don't know how you say it. Chia seeds, I think that's what they, they are. Um, just to put with my breakfast in the morning or with my puddings, I thought the coconut would be nice. I also thought the coconut would be nice when I'm doing my like little protein balls that I like to make with peanut butter. I thought that would be quite nice. And it's a suitable for both sweet and savory cooking. And the chia seeds, I like to just put on my porridge in the morning. They're a great source of protein, fiber, and omega-3. Um, and yeah, they don't really taste of anything. They're just good for you. So I just like to add them to my food. And they were quite cheap, so I got those. The chia seeds, there's 200 grams in here for £1.29. And the coconut was only 79p. So yeah, I really like coconut. I don't have it enough, actually. 
So I'm looking forward to trying that on my breakfast as well. So yeah, so that was everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you've been picking up recently from any of the bargain shops. You know I love to find a bargain. Make sure you check out Brogan's video after this. I'll leave a link down below for you. She is so, so sweet. So make sure you go check her out and subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you're here from Brogan's channel, then welcome. My name's Lisa. I do lots of lifestyle, interiors, cleaning videos, and lots more. So make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video guys.